So we've got our final panel left. We've saved the best for last. I want to, uh, I want to welcome Mr. David Yang to the stage, the CEO of Wanda Sports. Please give him a round of applause. David Wanda. Yeah. And his good friend and partner in crime, Bin Hu, from Atletico Madrid, China, the head of sales. So now that you've got the entire Bayern Munich strategy, does this change your approach to China at all? Or? No. No? Um, no. I think we, we have our clear vision, our business. And we want to congratulate what Byron and uh, Jax has done. Yeah, they have uh, done a yeah. fantastic job. Yeah. I think that you know it's, it's about football, right? Yes. If uh, everybody uh, does a very good job in football and the right, will will we'll, the title will go up and then the the boat will flow. Yeah. So we would love to to ride the wave and then to hopefully contribute to that wave uh, to go up. Yeah, I, I I echo those thoughts. It's not mm -hmm. a zero sum game for any club or any football team in, in China and everyone rallying together, football wins. And right. in, when football wins, every, everybody wins ultimately. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before we um, go deeper into the partnership and the, and the um, alliance with Atletico Madrid, can you help us understand what is Wanda Sports today? What is your role in China? Mm -hmm. And where do you see Wanda Sports in five years? Okay. So I can spend the next two hours to yeah. elaborate <laughs> on that and then I'm done. <laughs> But I'm sure that everybody will fall in sleep. Uh, very quickly, um, Wanda Sports has been uh, pretty active in the past uh, three years, in particularly uh, in China. Uh, however, our subsidiaries uh, in, in front, sports and the media, has been in business for the past 40 years. And another one, uh, World Triathlon Corp, as well as uh, competitors group in the US, have been very active in the past 30 years. Uh, but in the past three years, we have been uh, really, really active in trying to put our focus in China market because we see the, the, the trend uh, is really going up with the, um, the encouragement from the government. We see a lot of opportunities. So football, obviously, sitting here, I have to say, is, and truthfully, is our number one priority. Right. And, but three years ago, no, three weeks ago, we have just completed our second edition of the China Cup Football International, yep. uh, Invitational. Uh, where um, Uruguay beat Wales in the finals to win the, win the cup, and China um, uh, lost to uh, Czech to, uh, you know, to, uh, to complete this journey. Uh, but in the future, we have seven more years to go with the Chinese Football Association. We're very uh, confident that the China Cup will become a very strong IP and a very strong platform for the Chinese national team to strengthen uh, their squad and then hopefully do better in the future. Uh, we also have a very strong program with uh, um, Atletico. Uh, we have 150 kids uh, now in Spain to train and in the youth program, aged between 12 and 18. So hopefully some of them will become a member or members of the Chinese national team and also hopefully they can play in the five big leagues uh, in Europe, uh, obviously in China as well. So we are very, very happy about the, the progress that we made. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate on all the things we're, we have been doing in other sports, but it just kind of just name a few. Um, the basketball, we are going to launch the Asia Cup uh, in club level, and we are going to have a 2019 uh, FIBA World Cup in China. So that's going to keep us very busy. We have Ironman events in China. We have six stops every year. Uh, we have just recently launched the Rock and Roll Marathon. Some of you guys might have run that in, in either in America or somewhere in, in Europe. Uh, uh, we, we're very strong in cycling as well. So every October we will have the final stop of the World Tour cycling uh, in Tour of Guangxi. Right. So just name a few. We have just a whole lot. I have a book. If what's anyone going wants on? to read, and then I'll be happy to share with you free of charge. Right. It's fantastic. Big, big goals, big aspirations, yes. and I wish you all the best for that. Before we get into Atletico, I'd like to just share a video if I could, to help illustrate the partnership and what's been created with, with Wanda and Atletico Madrid. Thank you.
It's exciting. <laughs> Did you, um, so I might, actually I might just kick it off to you, Ben, about, you've recently, as, as a group, Wanda has divested much of the uh, interest in uh, Atletico globally, but to, to focus primarily on China and the growth of China business. Yeah. How, what is the focus now with your partnership with uh, Atletico and, and for you as the driving the sales of Atletico now, what is your mandate now moving forward? I think uh, at uh, this uh, stage, the top priority will be the uh, business. I mean, the looking for the right Chinese partner to maximize our brand value here. And also, uh, we are uh, we are very strong in terms of a global social network, but in China, we need to improve, so we need to uh, invest on uh, um, uh, Chinese local version of uh, social network. Yeah. Right. So you're going to focus on building the brand of Atletico, mm -hmm. and you you have plans to open up an office in Chengdu, Beijing. Yeah. In fact, uh, Beijing first, and then uh, we we will uh, figure out the Chengdu office. Right. And these these offices, the primary responsibility is around sales. Is it? Is that your early early targets? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. We are looking for, uh, we are targeting some uh, Chinese brands, looking for some global partnership, and also we can offer some deal for uh, regional partnership. Right. Yeah. And wh why, why Chengdu? What, what's the interest in, in Chengdu? Yeah, Chengdu is a beautiful city, and uh, people live with a uh, passion. You like and, spicy food? Or uh, yeah, what? yeah, very much. Hot pot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's a large population base. And the uh, parents, uh, parents of Chengdu are willing to send their children to uh, play football, and uh, people love football. And more importantly, uh, Wanda Sports has a doctor company uh, in Chengdu right. called uh, Double Heritage. And uh, the company has a very good relationship with the government. So uh, with the help from Wanda Sports, we, we believe that we can uh, develop something new, something exciting in Chengdu area. Right. And is this, is this investment and all partnership, is it? Long term, does it have a term, or is it this is the mandate moving forward? For I guess um, we are um, together for a long time. It has been three years in uh, in a, in a, in, a, in a passing, but we haven't really kind of, to be very frank, has not uh, deployed to the full uh, extent. We Atletico was the very first step when the group took in sports uh, uh, arena, and I was. Uh, beginning of 2015 and uh, our chairman met with the mayor of uh, Madrid and we made that investment and that has been a very successful partnership so, uh, so far in the past three years but in China frankly we haven't done much and then in our continuous conversation interestingly when we divest it because of you know whatever reason and then kind of spurred our conversation saying gosh we haven't done much right so and then the market is, is growing so fast and then to us, for Wanda, we felt like the spirit what um, Atletico represents actually fits in very well with the Chinese culture. You know, very low key, very humble, but mean, meanwhile delivers. And uh, we are we have been very impressed with what our partnership so far. And we really want to make sure that other uh, parties can really be part of it. Yeah. And we have, as, as you probably saw in the video, Wanda has is the naming rights holder. You know, for the arena, it's a beautiful arena. In my view, is. Probably very biased, the one of the best arenas in the world, maybe the best football arena in the world. And uh, it's very modern, and then uh, I hope that many of you guys can go there and visit. Obviously, those guys have exciting games. So I can games promise everyone offer. corporate tickets the next time they want to go to Atletico. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You treat us well. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Now, I heard that the way the investment came about originally in Atletico was a, a spontaneous, serendipitous moment at a restaurant. At yeah, a restaurant? You bought a football team at a restaurant? Well, I mean, like, our chairman is, is a big football fan. Yeah. And he had a wonderful conversation with the mayor of Madrid. At that time, obviously, we were in the process of buying one of the most historical buildings in Madrid, in downtown. And uh, in, uh, 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 Atletico just came on the surface and then became a, a very good opportunity for us to really plant our name into the community. Right. And it had turned out to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what, what impact is this partnership having for Wanda? What is the role of, of Atletico with the Wanda brand development in Europe? Are you looking to, does Wanda, is Wanda have aspirations to be a household name? Um, for us, it, it's about the partnership. You know, for we, we, 
Well, in China, it's very interesting. Like well, at one time, want to be um, to be very active in foreign investment in Europe, in America. At one time, we want to be more focused on domestically uh, projects, and we have been doing both in a way. And one, that, believe it or not, has been a household name uh, in many of the European countries. Uh, we had projects in in uh, in France, in in in, in the UK, um, in Spain, and in many other places. However, I think that the, the marriage between Wanda and Atletico is much deeper than that uh, because for us, you know, real estate is one thing and sports is our future. So wow. we've been uh, spending a lot of time in you know, developing our, our brand in, in sports arena rather than just kind of purely focus on uh, real estate. So that's one of the reasons we became the naming rights holder for um, a Metropolitan uh, Arena over there. It's called Wanda Metro Metropoliano. Um, arena and every time you fly into Madrid you can see our big logo out there and which actually has been reflecting our brand very positively. Right and you also have a, a FIFA partnership as well? Yes. Is that, is that, that obviously it's an important part of the year right now. How, how are you activating that partnership in market? We've been very very busy in activating that with uh, just how many days uh, away from the, the Russia World Cup. That's 60 days. 60 days, right? Yeah. We've been very very busy and we have a, a flag barrier program and we have over 100 kids who will kind of you know raise the FIFA fl uh, flag in all the matches. So we have a good partnership with FIFA and they have been very supportive and Fatma obviously she was, she was here earlier and she was part of the conversation when we uh, first signed our partnership with uh, Mr. Infantino and our partnership with FIFA is a long term it's uh, like four cycles so that covers not only Russia but always you know in, in the running hopefully that can be part of the, the dream that China will host uh, a World Cup uh, in this uh, beautiful uh, piece of land so that's our part of our dream as well that's why Wanda wants to partner with FIFA. Right, mm -hmm. right. so Bin I might ask you a question about the so with the investment that Wanda's made in the Dalian team, Dalian Yidfang, what collaboration can we expect to see with Atletico and, and, and that football club? I think at this stage, the collaboration will be focused on the uh, sharing of the customer base from Wanda Sports China. Because Wanda Sports China has an office in Beijing, Guangzhou, and Chengdu. Now we have a with uh, Dalian Yidfang and uh, I think uh, uh, we can utilize the uh, leadership of China uh, uh, and the uh, sales force, the sales force of uh, uh, Sports China sales team to reach all over the, uh, the clients from all over the country. And we, can, we have uh, rich uh, properties which covers Athletic uh, Madrid and Wanda, Wanda uh, Dalian Yifang and other, you know, uh, running marathon, uh, Ironman, and, uh, 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 and the tour once cycling program. Uh, all this property could be offered to any clients. Right. Uh, yeah. So a partnership with Atletico is access to other sports properties. Yeah. If I could add to that, it's, uh, I think it's it's a very very interesting um, combination right now because Dalian Yifang has been playing actually the first time, uh, well not first time, first time come back to the CSL league and uh, Yifang has, has not had, uh, obtained a win yet, has not had a W on its uh, oh. uh, tablet yet. But uh, in the process, I think you know, I want to attribute a lot of credit to Atletico because in the process, they have been very, very helpful. They sent uh, the players to, uh, to Yifang and uh, they you know, kind of introduced many of the candidates and uh, of course in the process we they also offered their resources in Europe so for us to find a very famous coach um, to coach the current team uh, I, I think most importantly is about youth training so Wanda right now is in the process of building 21 pitches uh, in Dalian as well as a, a full uh, brand new arena in Dalian so that where Dalian Yifan will be playing so and that's a requirement uh, for CSL and as well as by the Dalian uh, government. So Wanda is, is behind the scene lending a lot of the support to that. In the meanwhile, Atletico has been offering professional services to us and as well as kind of just devices on arena because they just built one of the best arenas in the world. They want to have, kind of share their learnings with us. So it has been a wonderful process so far. Well, and outside the sales function that, that you're driving, is there ambition to, for a youth academy and 
is there a platform there for youth academy development with Athletica? Um, if I could comment on that again, because <laughs> I've been involved with the youth uh, part quite a bit, and then uh, Ben has been focused on business. Yeah, business more. And then for us, we have 100 kids in, in Spain uh, that basically uh, live in, uh, on, a, on a promise of, uh, of uh, Atletico. So they train with the youth team of uh, Atletico. In the future, when we have our facility ready in Dalian, we could move some of the kids back to Dalian and train over there more locally. It could be a very good combination. This year, we have just started with the, the new uh, program. So we're going to select another 15 to 30 kids in China, and then first send to Spain, and some of them will come back to Dalian. So that with, that's all with the help from um, uh, Atletico. Uh, I think that you know, this is going to be the foundation for us. I think you know, hopefully um, you know, uh, more parties can join us to develop, because the future for Chinese football lies into the next generation, to be very frank. With due respect to the current national team, but the team that can win World Cup so should you think be the next generation. One, one generation away, you think? One or two. One or two. Yes. Yeah. What do you think, Ben? I think maybe in 10 years, when our young talent come back from Spain to join the CSL. Just from Spain, right? Yeah. When the yeah. young talent comes back from Spain. Yeah, maybe from others as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. And so outside of what, what you've spoken about, what are the other lessons do you think that you're seeing the Chinese as the football market develops, can learn from a club like Atletico? What, what are the other professional lessons that, that you can see? Uh, I think uh, uh, you need to be near to your clients. You need to get better understand, understand of their requirements, and uh, you need to be prepared for the activations. So this is the reason why we put uh, a partnership with uh, Vanda Sports uh, China, because they, are, uh, uh, they, they have an office in different cities. They are, uh, quite near to, to the, uh, our target clients. So is this a joint venture then, the structure of the company? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a joint venture and then uh, in a way that Atletico will have your like rep office here yep. in both Beijing and Chengdu and for us we're fully behind it and uh, we have a big sales team actually for Wanda Sports because you know, given the, uh, the spectrum, the wide spe spectrum of sports we, we touch upon so that we can lend all the resources to and let uh, Atletico to, to lend our support. And obviously, Wanda Group has a very wide coverage on different business aspects, such as real estate, uh, theaters, movie production, theme parks, just to name a few. Um, and then, um, so all like, you know, for example, 250 Wanda malls, Wanda plazas in a nation, you know, can be a launching pad for Atletico or, or our other partners. For example, we are doing a program called Road to World Cup, uh, with 60 days to go, maybe even during the 30 days of the World Cup, we are going to have a lot of viewing parties on premise of our Wanda Plazas. So we will be working with our, some of our partners at Wanda uh, Plazas, and then so ensure that the fans can go to our Wanda Plaza and enjoy this uh, 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 great uh, festival for football. So uh, you guys are welcome to join us as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and so in, in, in wrapping up, I asked Mr. Hong before from uh, RNF who was going to win. When will China win a World Cup? I'm going to hand it over to you both. When will China win a uh, World Cup? When China will win a World Cup? Uh, I'm a little bit uh, less um, positive than Mr. Hong. Uh, but that first of all, we need to hold a World Cup. I don't think we're going to win in that World Cup. And it's going to take another generation to win the World Cup after China hosts the first World Cup. Right. That's how I see it. And we, this will be soon, hopefully. How about you, Ben? How optimistic are you about China's football development now? And when can we expect the World Cup trophy coming back to mainland China? I think the first, uh, first step should be the qualify for, to, the, to the final stage. I think it will be done in 20, uh, 20 years. 20 years? Uh, yeah, maybe uh, the, our, again, our young talent from the academy, when the academy in, yeah. in Atletico, yeah. they come back, they can contribute to the national team. Maybe, I don't know, when, when, when should we win the, win the right. final? Right, but I, I guess it's fair to say then we're really at ground zero in football in China and it's, it's thanks to people like you guys and uh, Ajax and Bayern Munich and all the other clubs that come to this country to help develop the industry. And so I wish 
you guys and I wish everyone else all the best in the development of the game. And I want to thank you for your time today. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you.